Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we back again for another unboxing and mini review video here for the Blue View for track phone. Without any further ado, let's find out. Now this phone available through a track phone. Track phone is a carrier that offers a certain amount of uh, plans. Like for instance, they have 90 days plan, they have yearly plan, plus they have unlimited plans. They offer minutes type of thing if you are not willing to pay so much for your bill. And if you don't use your phone that much, maybe track phone is gonna be one of the solution for you. Recently they start offer unlimited plan and let me just overview this for you. They offer one gigabyte unlimited carryover for data for $20. And then if you need more, you can get 25 for two or three gigabyte for $30. This is very affordable here in the US. Now let's get back on the phone itself. And as you guys can see, this how the phone's gonna look. This is the typical packaging for a uh, track phone. And here it shows the red map. The mean, this phone, it should be available through a track phone and the track phone uses Verizon towers. Let's go into the uh, specification, the size screen. It will be 5.5 touch screen. Also doesn't tell us about the battery and there is no information. It says up to 13 hours. And then we have 1.5 octa-core processor and it has a Bluetooth 16 gigabyte for internal memory. And the phone's running Android Pi, which is Android 9. Now we're gonna do a quick unboxing and then we're gonna get into the phone and give you more details about the device itself. Plus I'm gonna give you my first impression. Also I'm gonna tell you if I recommend it or not. Now just before I do this, let me tell you, I got this phone for $59 so this is a friendly budget device that doesn't cost you a lot of money so in my opinion $59 that's so cheap for a cell phone Now after I spending a little while and get the phone set up, let's go ahead and start talking about the build construction and the design. The design is, it looks like very old fashioned cell phone over here. It looks like a three years old uh, cell phone design, all made out of plastic as you guys can see. The back of the phone looks nice in my opinion. It has the blue logo over here and then we have the camera hub that in contain the camera and the flash and it has some kind of textures. It feels good in the hands. We got the speaker over here. Of course we don't have a C type we will have just mini USB microphone as well as we have the power key and the volume downs are going to be located on the right and the good things like the power key has a feel to it has some textures to be distinguished from the volume rock also from the front you will have a 3.5 headphone jack also a nice cancellation uh, microphone now for the display the size 5.5 the resolution is only 480p so we don't have high definition and the PPI 197. The angle view is terrible. This is a TFT panel, it's not IPS. So color, contrast, especially outside, you're gonna have a hard time uh, dealing with this uh, display. Maybe TrackPhone offer the same price for the J3 Orbit. It would be better for the display than this. But if you wanted to go with a bigger screen, maybe this is gonna be a good option for you. Now for the interior of the device, actually I was not able to find out what model they have used. All the even on the internet I was not able to find any website to talk about the specifications for this particular device maybe later on I may update this later on but for right now the CPU Z shows is Cortex 1.5 it's a dual core actually because it's four cores over here this actually is not gonna be a fast processor at least like a quad core would be uh, much better the internal storage is kind of decent for the price 16 gigabyte also I was not able to find out uh, nothing about the RAM in this device and as you guys can see the phone keeps uh, crashing on me most of the time but I would assume this only one gigabyte of RAM I will update this in the description if I find more information but for the performance 
I was not too pleased with this kind of phone. Maybe this phone, if you want to get that one, maybe just to use to make phone calls, download some social uh, media applications. You don't want to rely on a phone like this to play video games. It's not going to give you the best experience. Now the phone came with Android 9, Android Pie, which is a good thing in my opinion for, for this price. Comes with uh, at least Android 9. And it basically is a stock Android. I haven't seen anything special in this device except a few things. If you are a track phone customer, they'll give you option to check your email just by going to the inbox. That's just the application. As well as they know people on track phone. Sometimes when they purchase these phones, they have some difficulty to find out the IME number and some information. Information. So they have a, something uh, pre-installed, it's called Divide Pulse and that will give you actually the model, the IME number, the SIM card number, some information you probably need when you do the activation over the phone or online. Other than that, I haven't noticed anything special in this device, it's going to be more of a stock Android. Finally here I'm going to be talking about the camera. On the back of the phone we have 8 megapixel supported with a flash, 5 megapixel on the uh, front and actually this is one of the worst phones camera I have ever experienced since like three years. I believe Nokia uh, 3310 maybe has a better uh, camera than this one. It's absolutely terrible. And if you want to look as a monster, go ahead and check these pictures out. I mean, absolutely the camera, one of the worst thing, as well as the back camera has very terrible uh, uh, job over here. I mean, I mean you can see noise everywhere and the uh, autofocus is just so slow So if the camera is not the thing in this device, I didn't even play much with it I tried to capture like pictures here and there and I found out the camera is absolutely terrible So if you're thinking about purchasing this device and you are expecting to get anything out of the camera Do not do this. This phone has absolutely terrible camera. This phone I would say I recommend this device only for people are more willing to use the phone just for a cell phone maybe if you don't want to go uh, for like a flip phone or you want to come from flip phone to Android that has bigger screen over here and it's cheap maybe this is one option for you but do not attend to purchase this device because you want to use this phone on the heavy use now just before I end this video also this phone has a removable back where you can remove the battery as well as the battery is only 2000 milliamp power battery but I understand this phone doesn't have the highest brightness and the resolution and the phone is not going to consume a lot out of the phone itself so they they believe that 2000 should be more than enough for you and it seems to me it's okay for the battery performance as well as the phone is not going to give you fast charging as well and I believe that's it for that video I wish you guys find this video helpful and if it did enjoy watching this video leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on variety stick Thank you so much everyone for watching. As always, we'll see you around in the next video. Peace.